Praise the Lord. This is John Rocovio coming to you from Prayer Cabin here in Albion, California, Lord's Land. Really excited about this year's mentoring retreat, Eagle's Nest Mentoring Retreat, taking place August the 22nd through the 24th. I put this little video together because there's some that have emailed in the past and want to know what is Eagle's Nest Mentoring all about. Well, basically, Eagle's Nest Mentoring is something the Lord placed upon my heart about seven years ago. Early on in my ministry, when I, especially before I was married, I spent a lot of time where I would just go up into the mountains with my truck and a tent. And back then, I would spend <clears throat> 7, 10, 14, sometimes 21 days just alone with God, just my Bible and the Lord. Of course, then I wasn't married. I didn't have a lot of responsibilities in life. And me being gone for 21 days up in the mountains, nobody missed me. And it's just times I spent, I dug out a relationship with him, drawing closer to him, and uh, just learning his ways. And of course, when I got married now, I do it sporadically, but usually no more than three to seven days. Seven days is a real, uh, especially the past few years with teenagers and responsibilities of pastoring, it's been very difficult. I normally go for three days, and that's it. So thankful for a wonderful bride that, throughout the years, has never uh, resisted or stopped me from spending this special time alone with the Lord. About seven years ago, the Lord began to speak to me and told me I, I needed to introduce this concept of a Sabbath away from life, to unplug from life and plug into God. And so I set this Eagle's Nest Mentoring Camp, three days, prayer and fasting and devotions. We normally gather on a Thursday, and uh, this year it's Thursday, the August the 24th, about 1 or 2 o'clock. Uh, everybody gets set in their cabins. We normally bring plenty of water, so all you'll need to bring is your toiletries. Your cabins should have towels available. If you want to bring your own towel, that's fine, and your own pillow. Uh, all your bedding and everything will be provided, so that's not necessary for you to bring it. And then we'll be providing all of the water to drink during the fast. We'll be fasting all day Thursday and all day Friday, and then breaking the fast on Saturday morning with a breakfast that our famed Mountain Mike from uh, the North Coast comes down and cooks a wonderful breakfast for us all. And our mentoring camp has been as many as 55 men in the past, and this past year we had about 22 I'm expecting about 30 again this year. I think this camp only house, houses 40, so we'll be limited and be first come, first serve. And I'll be working out. Uh, the cost should be a whole lot less than it's been in the past. We've moved our camp from the Sierra Nevadas because it's very hot still in August uh, in the Sierra Nevada area, especially the foothills. But right here on the coast at Albion, California, which is right about 20 miles south of Fort Bragg, uh, you get that coastal breeze, and it stays fairly cool in the 70s during the day and drops down to the 50s at night. So We're Spending a few days prayer and fasting right here on the coast of California, down by Fort Bragg, actually in Albion. Just want to share some of this beautiful north coast country. It's absolutely God's country out here. So thankful to just be a couple hours drive from this kind of beauty. Here we are in Albion, California at the campground called the Lord's Land. It's a wonderful little campground nestled in the Mendocino County north coast forest of redwoods and sequoias. A lot of old growth trees here, some of them 20, 25 feet in diameter. 
100 feet tall or taller. And this is kind of just the entrance. To the right here is Tiny Cabin and the big house where most of the men will be staying. Over here to the left is the garden cabin and the little garden cabin. And I'll be showing you just a little bit more of each cabin. Got a pavilion over here where all the men will gather. We'll just show you each cabin. Each cabin has a wood burning stove and I'm going to be showing you the different cabins. You've got the big house which houses 20 men. That's going to be the least expensive to stay at and then we'll have a big house. This is the main cabin that uh, most of the men will be staying in. Probably it seats 20 they say or it uh, not seats but sleeps 20. Here we'll go into big house and take a look at what big house has to offer. Let's see little bathroom and shower in here. Just a little shower there and a bathroom. Kitchen with a microwave. Probably end up cooking our breakfast right here in Big House. Got a nice big kitchen here. Utensils. And uh, Turn some lights on here. Plenty of room for everyone to sit and eat. Or to, we could actually have our nice area for breakfast, or so just to sit and read your Bibles. I guess two people will sleep in here, two or three, each one of these couches comes out to a bed so three men can be down here and then we got the upstairs up here you got two bunks here one two three four three downstairs is seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 4 bunks in here, and we got a back little room in here, hit this light switch, probably this will be one of our um, speakers, we'll end up sleeping in here, that's 12, and 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, got another little shower and bathroom up here, so that's big house, probably this will be one of our um, speakers, end up sleeping in here that's 12 and 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 got another little shower and bathroom up here So that's big house. Other cabins that house less men and give a little bit more privacy. For the, uh, some cabins have showers, and so you're not having to jockey for showers. Uh, the big house has two showers available for 20 men. Then we have public showers, two of them. We also have the faith house. This cabin here is faith house. This is probably where. Myself and probably Brother McDonald, possibly my son will stay because it
faith house seats three continuing with faith house it's got a nice little sitting area here Let's sit out and pray and it's got a little refrigerator right here to hold a lot of our waters and there we go pull my shoes off here quick Faith House has this for the outside light it's got a sink Microwave, stove, little table. It's own bathroom, shower. Wood burning stove if it gets cold at night. I guess this must fold out to a bed. There must be a loft up there with a little bed in it. Looks like it is. Another loft up there. So you got one, two, three, and then back here a private area. Four. So actually four people can sleep in this area. That's Faith House. We have the the raccoon house, we have the garden house, the tiny garden house, and the bear cabin, and the prairie cabin, and um, these are all um, available. This is the outdoor area where we'll be having a lot of our devotions, sitting around a fire, just sharing and ministering. I also have a uh, Pavilion here. If there is some weather, hopefully it'll keep us out of the weather or we'll go over to the ballroom. But this is where we'll probably possibly cook our our dinner. This is tiny cabin. This is a two-man cabin that uh, probably will house one of our speakers. It's a very basic cabin. Just basically a, a uh, sink here. So continuing with tiny cabin here. Basically has a desk, bed, little closet area. No shower, no bathroom. Just a little space heater. Probably won't need that in August. The uh, ballroom, where possibly we might have a service. We may end up not using it and just doing the outdoor area. But it's basically a Just like a, we can probably set some chairs up, tables up, I guess, for fellowship. Well, this cabin here is called the prayer cabin. I'm going to kind of give you an idea just how steep this trail is going down to the prayer cabin. I don't have, plan on having anybody stay at this prayer cabin. So maybe I'll just walk down this road here to bear cabin because I may have some of the men stay at bear cabin. Well here I am at the uh, Lord's Land prayer cabin. Nice little cabin that uh, out here in the quiet 
couple days of prayer and fasting. It's just this north coast. Just a good time for me to spend with the Lord. Here's the prayer cabin. It's right here in Albion, which is right on the north coast. It's about three miles from the ocean. It's a nice little cabin. No bathrooms. It does have electricity, that's neat. It's got a little outhouse, as you can see here. Just a little Not much to it. Love suffers long. Hmm. Has a wood burning stove in it, so it does get down to about 35 degrees at night here. And then here's a nice little tree root. Uh, There it is, tree root thing. Just a little quiet place to sit and read your Bible and pray and enjoy the nice outdoors. Looking forward to the next three days of just being with the Lord. Oh, well, there's Bear Cabin. I think someone's staying in it, so I'll just show it to you from here. It's kind of up on stilts. I think Bear Cabin seats sleeps three. Well, here's a little trail called Prayer Trail. Just a little path that uh, you can walk down and Spend some time in prayer. It's clearly marked. I will tell you, everything out here is pretty much up and down. I I just went about a quarter of a mile down the path from the prayer cabin and literally got turned around because there are so many game trails crisscrossing each other. I finally came out about, I actually came out at Raccoon Trail. But um, here's Prayer Trail. It heads on down through the woods. Just really a uh, nice, quiet place. Lots of little Rise, My Love, My Beautiful One, Come Away, Song 2 and 10. Just a nice little Just down here is Come Away My Beloved and then a prayer trail up at the top. So I guess there's two parts of this trail. Anyway, just wanted to give you a little taste of the sereneness and the little bench here that you can sit down on and just look at the beautiful north coast beautiful views so anyway prayer trail continues on this way and it's just a nice little probably 15 minute prayer walk that you can walk along and just be by yourself and Talk to the Lord. It's another little blessing of this year's upcoming Eagle's Nest mentoring camp.
Just in a little spot on the prairie trail. Be still and know I'm God. A little place here you can sit down and pray. Just a continuation of Eagle's Nest Mentoring Camp's prayer trail. Just a little bit of the wildlife here. Yep, deer that just sit there and look at you. Our little library if anyone wants to go and check some books out. A little quiet place to go and read. And this right here is our public restrooms and shower. Or if you don't want to use the big house shower and if your cabin doesn't happen to have a uh, shower here's a bathroom and a shower for your use Got one for men and one for ladies I'm sure we'll be able to use both of them since we won't have any ladies at the camp and then of course finally the last cabin is the garden cabin here it's a pretty large cabin. It seats nine. I'm not sure if we're going to rent it or not. Depends on how many people sign up. So there you have it. That's basically the overview of Eagle's Nest Mentoring Camp. Hope to see you this August. And uh, go to www.spiritled.net www.spiritled.net and you'll be able to go to Eagle's Nest Mentoring. God bless you and we'll see you in August. So we're excited about this year's mentoring camp. It's a wonderful time. Uh, we have consecrations. We have times during the day where we just have intercession, a lot of teaching off and on. We'll pray for an hour, uh, have teaching for an hour, and then have quiet time. This year, we may, since we're right here on the coast, we may get Mountain Mike to take a group of men for an hour or two of fishing on Friday. During our, we always have a recreational time on Friday, and I know that's wonderful. Uh, so, looking forward to you uh, being at the Eagles uh, Nest Mentoring Camp for 2013, August 24th to 26th. Make your plans Thursday night, Friday night, and then we we end our camp Saturday. Um, if you want to fly into Santa Rosa, California, the California the airport is STS. We'll have a van that we can take approximately uh, 15 men uh, to the camp. We'll be taking a van, and we'll we'll supply your transportation for a small fee for gas to share the gas. Um, if you fly into San Francisco, you'll need to uh, either rent a car, and uh, it's. Um, about a three and a half hour drive from San Francisco to get to the camp. It's about a two hour drive from Santa Rosa where I pastor to get to the camp. Or you can also take a bus from the San Francisco airport. It's called the Airport Express. It's $64 round trip. It will pick you up right there at baggage claim and it will drop you off in Santa Rosa and we can come pick you up in the church van and take you to our, our buying camp. That's another option you can have, but you need to be sure you add extra time. The bus runs on the hour to your schedule and also $64 extra for the bus fares. Excited about this year's camp? Again, if you want to register, it's www.spiritled.net. Spiritled.net. First come, first serve. You want to register as soon as possible. God bless you, and we'll see you at Eagle's Nest.